guys, so good to be with you today. So we have talked about some things that we don't eat. What's on the menu? What can we eat? We're trying to eat healthily. Well, fruit is definitely on the menu. Four servings of fruit every day. That's quite a treat. So let's just talk a little bit about other fruits. We've already talked about berries and how remarkably good for our health they are, the many things that they do in our bodies, but there's so many other fruits. So let's just start with apple. Dr. Colin Campbell of Cornell University references in his book entitled Whole, a study by one of his co-professors there, Dr. Liu. And he was did the study where he took the whole apple and actually he took a half a cup is uh, what he used and the participants were to eat this half a cup of whole apple and he studied how this affected their bodies and the results and the antioxidant effects on their bodies well what he found that was that the vitamin c activity which is equivalent to like antioxidant effect in their bodies was equivalent to what would be about 1500 milligrams of vitamin c but what was even more interesting was that as he took the apple and studied it scientifically for its individual components he could only find 5.7 milligrams of vitamin c actually in the apple which is just proof positive that when we eat foods in their whole form, the way God made them, then they have this effect in our bodies. They work together with our bodies to give us this wonderful result like this 1500 units of milligrams units of vitamin C in our bodies. And that's just one component. You think of all the many other components that are in one apple. And I love remembering too, that there are components that doctors and scientists have not even uncovered yet. So God is brilliant. He is the ultimate expert. He knew what he was doing and we can enjoy fruit knowing that we're not only getting those wonderful things that we know about, but even those things that we maybe don't even really know are in there that God placed in there for our good. We can trust him. So apples are definitely on the menu. You know what they say, an apple a day, right? Keeps the doctor away. So let's just talk about a few other fruits. And so one of those is kiwi. We've talked a little bit about this before, but I think it's worth mentioning again. Dr. Greger says he actually prescribes kiwi to his patients for insomnia, some types of constipation. And then he goes on to say how good it can be for the immune system. He also teaches about citrus. He says that it is used to repair DNA, that sometimes the zest in particular can actually repair DNA. That's pretty profound. And then he talks about how that the citrus itself is associated with lower risks of breast cancer. So underripe bananas, they're associated with feeding prebiotic, they're a prebiotic and they feed the good bacteria in our guts that just help us have a healthier gut, healthier digestion. So guys, you know what, we could go on. If you think of a fruit and God made it, it's good. So one half cup of berries every day is what Dr. Greger suggests, and then three other fruits. So apple, pear, pineapple, mango, kiwi, whatever you choose, we are trying to make a habit of getting four servings of fruit every day. Whenever you can, choose to get some raw because those have enzymes and sometimes the nutrients are affected if we cook or process. So just remember that, you know, we want to eat as much raw fruit as we can. And guys, talk about convenience foods. These are convenience foods. So that's it for the day. I hope that you will go and get a piece of fruit and enjoy it. I know that I plan to and um, God is so good. I'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.